All right. I'm going to show you how to remove a faceplate and put a new faceplate onto this hard drive caddy, which has been more of a pain in the ass than I thought it would be. First, you want to have this paper clip here, put it into the hole, get it in there. Pop this out. You're going to want to look along the edges. You're going to need to get this screwdriver. Make sure you support it, not break it. You're just going to want to pry. Try and get that little lip there to go underneath, just like that. It should pop off a little bit. Work it the rest of the way, it should come right off. Nothing broken. You just push that back in for safekeeping. Ever need to open it back up again? There's a little white tab there. Press on it with your paper clip, pops it back open. Now, hard drive caddy, oh, other side. It has a faceplate on it too, but it does not fit in my laptop well, and it makes it look like shit. So, take it off, just kind of pry, and it will come off fairly easily. And next, get this lined up correctly. Make sure your tabs are gonna go in there properly. Then I start on that side. And just kind of work your way over until it fits nice and flush. Push your button and everything is not going to work. Now you got your faceplate on there. Now, my hard drive bay came with these little yellow knobs in the hard drive. Then, to get the hard drive in there, you need to take out this little end piece here. It's got tabs on the side, so you just pull on the tabs, and it should pop right out. You get your hard drive, make sure you have it lined up properly. Go ahead and make sure your knobs don't come out. That was a lot shittier than I thought it was going to be. So, got it in there. Took a little bit of work to muscle it in. Those knobs like to pop off the sides. And after you have that installed in there, go ahead and make sure you have the flat piece on top and not this piece within gapped inside. Turn it around so this little cutout here is facing the back. Put that back in. So that way everything's nice and flush. Your hard drive's in there nicely. It is secure. It was a lot more secure than I thought it would be. As you can see, hard drive's not going to move out of there, which is nice because you don't want your hard drive moving around inside of that bay. Alright, so you're going to need to take this piece off right here and put it onto your hard drive bay, which you can see has holes for it right there. Get a small screwdriver. Make sure you don't strip the screws. Keep them separate from any other screws you have laying around. That piece 
this off. And go ahead and put this drive away. So now you're going to want to have this like that up on your hard drive. Caddy. Alright. So it's in there nice and secured. Go ahead and stick this into the bay. Fits in there nicely. You can see now there's a spot for me to put a screw in. So I can get my screw. It's a longer one. If you misplaced it, this one is pretty unmistakable. Put that screw right, right in there. Screw it down. Hold it in place. It's not coming out. And you're good. Go ahead and put the everything back in, and you should be ready to rock and roll.